In this video, you will learn how to quickly create a large sales order using the Batch Add Price List Items feature. I'm going to begin a new sale for one of my customers. Barry is a reseller of my products, so he sent through quite a large order. In previous videos, we've seen that you can search for an item by typing the name or SKU into the item code field. Or you can add miscellaneous items. Or you can even just type directly onto the line. In this example, I've got multiple line items with large quantities. So I want something that's a bit easier and quicker to add my items onto the order. This is where the batch add price list items feature is really useful. Click on the link to open the window. So firstly, Barry has ordered several items from my classic range. I can type the product name or SKU into the search field, hit enter, and it will bring back all the results. Now I can enter the quantity for each item. And hit the batch add button. That's added all those items to my order. We can see the order just behind the window. The window remains open so I can continue searching and adding items to the sale. Barry's also ordered several colours and sizes of the ladies gardening gloves. I've got the SKU number for this one. So type in a SKU, hit enter and it's brought back the result. Here we can see something slightly different. These ladies gloves are what we call variants. They are all the same except for the varying sizes and colours. They can be grouped and managed all together. You can learn more about variants online with our documentation or in another video. For these variants here, I've set them to be displayed as a grid. This makes it really easy for me to see what options I supply. You can see here I don't actually supply the small gloves in red. And we can also see of those I do supply, how many I have in stock available for sale. Barry would like five of each colour in large. 10 of each colour in medium, 5 would like 5 in small. You'll find it really easy to navigate between these fields using the arrow keys on your keyboard. I'm going to add those to the order as well. So, so far I've searched by product name or SKU, but you can also narrow down your search to categories to a particular price list. For example, you might only sell some items to wholesale, so you can choose to hide everything else without a price. If you're using seasons, you'll also have this search field. And finally, if you're using multiple warehousing, you can view and add inventory available at your other warehouses. However, in order to ship from your multiple warehouses, you'll need to also switch on advanced partial fulfillment so that you can split the order into multiple goods out notes. A sale itself can only read from one warehouse. You can learn about advanced and partial fulfillment in another video. I finished adding all the items to the sale, so I'm going to close this window. All I need to do now is save.